Hello again, and uh, welcome to part 9D of uh, ob ob obtaining your ham license, or of course way beyond uh, obtaining your ham license. Uh, those of you who wanted a ham license by now will have probably gotten one. And uh, today is Wednesday. Uh, Glenn King is supposed to come over this morning and hook his antenna analyzer up to this RG58 coax cable which goes up into my antenna that I've strung in the trees. You saw me do that in the last video. And hopefully he'll come sit right down here in this nice little chair here next to me and be nice and comfy, hook his analyzer up to it. And uh, I'll ask him questions about it. We'll all see what it looks like. We'll, we'll hopefully when we're all done, we'll find out what an antenna analyzer, uh, how they work. I mean, what, you know, what buttons, what are you looking for and all that sort of thing. Uh, we do know that it's gonna check the standing wave ratio of my antenna, SWR. So hopefully uh, it's uh, oh it's almost quarter to ten right now. In about fifteen minutes, I'll give Glenn a call and see if he's available. Well, as promised, uh, here's Glenn, and that's his antenna analyzer in the box, and he's fixing to connect it up. Uh, tell us a little bit about this thing. First of all, how much do these things cost? Oh, pick one of these up off eBay where I got this one for a little over a hundred dollars. A little over a hundred dollars. Okay. If you were a better shopper than me, or chopped around a little bit you probably could get it for less than that now we'll be connecting this this coax uh, cable to that connector right there is that correct that's correct and once you do now I, apparently it does it uh, what, what are these other connectors for what's all this stuff for other stuff you can put a frequency an external frequency counter on it or use this internal it has an internal frequency counter built into it you'll see it when I turn it on now when after you turn it on what what do we what are we what are, what are, what are you looking for? I mean, are you going to use each one of these windows mm -hmm. here or okay, so now this one says SWR, this one says what? Resistance. Resistance. And what will this one tell us? The frequency. The frequency that you're going to inject into the antenna. The frequency now, that's being Is it a set frequency or can you change it's it at will? Totally variable. With this okay. knob here. Okay. And how and what what, this what is range the, are we this, talking about? This is the range the the switch sets. This is for uh, 1.8 to 4 megahertz. 4 megahertz to 10, 10 to 26.2, 26.2 to 62, 62 to 113, and 113 to 170. So it goes from 1.8 megahertz all the way up to 170 megahertz. Yes. And you can control and zero it in on the exact frequency you want with this, uh, with this tuning, tuning button right there. Uh -huh. Okay, well, and then as you're tuning it in, you're looking at what? You tune it for the lowest SWR. And make sure the reactance is around the 50 ohms that's in the it's in the coax. Okay, so you're looking for something on this gauge that says very close to 50 ohms, 50 ohms. which is what you want the radio to see when the kinetic, uh -huh. when the antenna is connected to it, and you're looking for very low SWRs. The lowest SWR. And you can find. so, how do you know what frequency you're going to inject in it? I mean, where do you start and where do you end on that? Well, I'm going to start somewhere in the 75 meter band which is where uh, your G5RV is one of the places that should be resonant close to the 75 meter band. Okay, now my radio and the antenna are supposed to be good from 10 to 80 meters, mm -hmm. but you're taking 75 again, what is that for? 75 meters is the high end of uh, 80 meter band. Okay, all right, all right. Okay. And now will you be checking the low end also or just the high end? I'll be checking all of them. All of them. So it's, it takes a little time to do this then, doesn't it? Let's see what's going on here. There's a little bit of an SWR change. See there where it's 50 ohms? Now he's got 50 ohms fairly, is right there. And this the SWR is SWR still fairly high there, but there is a dip that's coming in. So there is a resonant point in the 75 80 meter band. Okay, now being a newbie and everything, what does that mean? Interpret that for me. You, you, you're trying to bring it in on. on a certain frequency yep. and as you're doing it, it the SWR is going up does that mean is that good or bad you know I don't know anything about this the lowest SWR possible uh -huh. yeah. nearest the lowest SWR possible we we'll, we will ignore the resistance this antenna we will oh. ignore the and we'll go for the SWR okay and now, now is that an option or does it well, you know, you should, see, when people look at this and when I look at this we say why well, why why would we ignore it you're going to use it with a tuner correct so you can, oh, I see. So oh, okay. you can tune, I can adjust you can tune for any of that out. Okay, now what Glenn means is 
this cable will eventually be connected into an antenna tuner and anything that's sort of a little wacky on the antenna uh, resistance I can tune it out with the antenna tuner that I'm going to buy because the antenna tuner really does not tune the antenna it just fools the radio into thinking it's facing a 50 ohm load is that right that's right that's right okay that's what an antenna tuner does uh, and uh, that's what will be happening once I get my tuner so he's going to be playing primarily with the SWR I'm up on 40 meter now okay at the low end somewhere around 7.1 megahertz is the lowest SWR okay so the antenna is is doing what it's supposed to do now, now should I cut anything off or anything I mean should I be like do you, anything looks to like it? you do need to be cutting it off some now how do you know how much to cut off each end I guess it would have to be equal on each end because I made this exactly 51 feet now are we talking just the antenna or the feed line uh, the antenna the, the, the antenna, antenna wires which would be the, the 251 foot cell. lengths uh, okay this one's the lowest on 20 meters the antenna is 13.8 megahertz. Mm -hmm. That tells me that the antenna is generally long. Long. It's cut too long. Okay. It needs to be cut because that should be down below 14 megahertz. Okay. How much? Or above up above 14 megahertz. Excuse me. From experience, how much am I going to have to cut off of this thing? Six inches off each side, I maybe. I would try six inches at first. Uh huh. And see where it goes. See what it does. Okay, now after I cut it, I'll lower each end. I'll cut off six inches. Uh, would nine be better or just go with six? Go with six. Go with six. Okay, I'll cut off six inches off of each end. You can always cut more. Okay, and then, I'll, and then I'll hoist it back up again. And then what? I mean, are we going to have to go through just this? Uh, we'll call you up and have you come over? You don't you, mind doing that do for that me? I can uh, I can let you. Well, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm looking for. You know, this is the first time I've ever laid eyes on one. It, I'll try to get you over here at a later date, you know. As long okay. as we can get all this done before the cold weather hits. I don't want you to come over here in, in the cold and sit out over here. Over the next and, few weeks, that would be fine. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, well, let me go ahead. Obviously, what's happening here is my SWR ratio is 2 to 1. Is that what you're saying? It was well, no, zeroed it, in around 2. It's down below 2 to 1 okay. at this frequency, but it's 13.9 megahertz, mm -hmm. which means it's way too low in frequency, which means the antenna is too long. Okay, all right. And, and then I will go up to uh, there we are for the 15 meter band, okay. and it's Ooh. at 19 megahertz, and that should be above. 21 megahertz. Yeah, so. And that's still sitting at 2, isn't yes. it? Yes. Okay, so what we're really looking for but here the is... the antenna a, is, is working. What are we looking for here? As close to 1 as we can as get, As close right? as 1 as you a can one get. 1 to 1 ratio is what we're looking for. But with, a G5 RV, that. with mm -hmm. a G5 RV, I don't think you'll ever get there. No. I've never, no. I've never seen one okay, get Okay, so, so what would you consider to be... At what point are you going to say, John, your antenna's good to go? 1.5, somewhere Anything around around 2 to 1. Around 2 to 1. Yeah, for a G5 RV. At the proper frequency. Right. Which we have not yet reached. No. Okay. All right. All righty. Well, best thing I can do, I'll spend uh, the, in the next day or two pulling that baby down. I'll cut off six inches off of each end because it's going to be a little bit of a process. And then uh, I'll go ahead and uh, call you back up and see if I can bug you again. I hate to do it. I know you're a busy man, but I, I mean, you're the only one I know that's got an analyzer. Take just a few moments to come in and do Well, it. I appreciate you doing it. Thank you very much, Glenn. You bet. Glenn has uh, now left, and but before he left, we had a discussion about the location of my uh, antenna. He says it's up uh, fairly high, good enough, but, you know, it could be better. And he thinks that I should take it out of this tree here. It goes up uh, over that branch right up there. He thinks I should move it over to this other branch uh, of the next tree down, which would basically be wide open in the sky all the way over to this tree right here where the other end is. And he also thinks I should take six inches off of each end. So hopefully this camera is not being choppy right now. For some reason, when I stick it up in the sky, the video gets choppy. I don't know why. There may be something wrong with the camera. But anyway, that's it. I'm going to spend the next couple days moving... Uh, Pulling this, uh, pulling down this rope and uh, stringing it over, or shooting the bow and arrow over this branch, probably right there in the next tree. And that'll really help a lot. Uh, until next time, this is John.